Yo, what's good you guys? It's the uh, boy from Chief back at it again. Uh this is a an awkward video. Just a video to kind of fill in. NFL quote unquote mock draft or just main positions of need for each team. If you want me to do kind of like mock draft what place I can see some of these draft picks going. Before the draft, NFL draft starts, draft is the 29th, I can make that before the draft happens, make it round 1, I will not make 2 through 7, yes I get it, I'll make it round 1, if you want me to, it will be a longer video, I can do it, hope you all enjoy Also, make sure you like the video, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And hit that bell icon because whoever subscribes to the channel lately and even my old subscribers I will subscribe back to you and that is not clickbait I'm I actually mean it hope you all enjoy this one let's get yo let's get into it uh, NFL I'm just gonna do one round mock draft here uh, starting with 1 through 10. So Jacksonville, Jacksonville, this is me. You take that first spot and you uh, grab Trevor Lawrence. Because if he drops, there are other teams that will take him. That's who everybody's talking about you taking. If you take somebody else, they will be surprised because that is usually not who takes somebody. They usually take a certain person, and the quarterback is number one most of the time. You can see Baker Mayfield taken by the Browns two years ago? Yeah, two years ago. And then and some of the later picks... There are still good quarterbacks in here. Uh, just for sure, Jacksonville will take Trevor Lawrence. Hopefully. There are some more needs that they need, but that's out of the table right now. They can pick up some... They can pick up some later ones. Jets, um, what is there to say? You lost Jamal Adams to the Seattle Seahawks in free agency slash trading him? Uh, honestly, the Jets need to pick up a big offensive line. Pick up some offensive line guys. Pick up a defense. Some of the main spots you need defense on. Like your safeties and secondary. I get that. Chiefs need it too. But this is going to be a crazy one. So, uh, just kind of going down the line. There are some needs that I can say. If I'll say them at the end. Uh, 49ers. Which was a Miami-Houston trade for something. And then Miami traded that for a lot of those things. But... They traded out of the spot for another one, which yes, don't. I th this was a huge trade. They only traded a pick, but there's a chance that somebody that the 49ers could pick up a quarterback. Uh, Jets for me, it's basically just pick up some secondary. I don't care which secondary it is. 49ers, they don't need much offense. It's more, you need to pick up a defensive set that can help you out. And you need to come off of injuries. 
if those if the guys that were on the team last year come out of injuries, I would say get some backup players for the offense and defense that can shut these guys down. On to the next one. In the four spot is the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta, you hired an hire a new coach. Uh you gotta center you gotta center your offense around Matt Ryan. Yes, I know he's an old quarterback. Not older than Breeze, who has retired this year. But I really think that if you can get somewhat of a quarterback to back up Matt Ryan, who doesn't have, quote-unquote, many years left, it, yeah, I could see that helping you out a lot more than anything else you expect. Dolphins from Philadelphia. The, uh, just so you know, 49ers had a 12 pick. Had the 12 pick in this first round. They traded up for the third, and Miami traded down and then traded back up from Philadelphia. Hence, why they are in the 12th spot, and Miami is now in the sixth spot. So Cincinnati. You got to go around Joe Burrow. So, you lost A.J. Green. You're close on John Ross being out of a contract. You need a little more defense just to blockade that sucker up. You're in the toughest division. You got to make sure Joe Burrow is happily healthy because that's what helped, what destroyed you. It was Joe Burrow went down and... It all went to crap. Thank you for beating the Pittsburgh Steelers this last week, this last season. At the end, it helped us immensely in the playoffs. So, kind of go down the line. Miami. Do 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 do. Um. Miami. Yes, y you need to set up a heavier set defense. You have your offensive set. Fitzmagic is gone. It's two at the helm. Full start. It's if he if they can keep sparking the stuff that they had on this offense last year. They just need to spark a defense that can hold some of these teams to less points. That's what hurt them in the end of the season compared to start of the season. Start of the season, don't get me wrong. They were doing really good. It just kind of, that defense hurt them. And then they got strong at the end. And weren't even in the playoffs. I wish they got to play in the playoffs. I would have loved to play them again. <laughs> Next, Detroit Lions. Um, what? I don't know what to choose. Uh, you got Jared Goff at quarterback. I think you need to pick up a, a decent O line and a good off a good offensive line and some of your secondary and defense you should be fine. But there's no real things going on. Panthers. Um You signed Fitz Magic. You needed O-line that will protect around Fitzmagic. But it's going to be a tough set. And, uh... You need a little defense. Because you've got some older guys. Bring in some younger guys to back up these guys if they get hurt. Or something goes wrong. That's honestly my thought. Number 9, the Denver Broncos... I, I just got a question. Is this the end of Drew Locke? Honestly, from my perspective, Drew Locke hasn't done much the last year and a half, two years. Yes, he's got some tough teams in the AFC West, but he hasn't played good against some of the other teams in the AFC or NFC. That's just my perspective. Yes, I know. I'm a Chiefs fan. Don't get me wrong. 
this is something that's different. It's because the Denver Broncos, I think they need to sign a free agent quarterback to take over Drew Locke's spot. And then they need to pick up some defense because you don't have Vaughn Miller anymore. You don't have some of these guys that are were on your defense when you played in 2015. You need to pick up some defensive guys in the draft. And sorry, but you need to pick up a, a free agent quarterback, just in my opinion. Okay, on to, the, on to number 10. Top 10, Dallas Cowboys. Yes, I know it moved past it. But the Dallas Cowboys, ooh, if you don't have Dak, which is a possibility, I would say pick up a quarterback, someone to run it and keep it going. Pick up a little more defense in the secondary. So cornerbacks, safeties, and in your linebacker set. You have a good front four. Pick up in your front uh, pick up in your back set, pick up in your secondary and part of your front seven. You should be fine. You, you'll do good. Giants number eleven. You're hoping Saquon's back. Um But I think you really need to pick up some more defensive guys. Sign some free agents if you need to. But I think your position of need is really like a cornerback. Yes, they they have they went one and five and ended up six and ten, which is crazy. At their halfway point. Um, but I, this team is going to be a team to watch out for this season. If they pick up the right people in the draft. Philadelphia Eagles. From San Francisco via Miami. So now Philadelphia is in this 12 spot. As I said Miami is in that 6th spot. San Francisco is in that 3rd spot. Philadelphia. This is the year Jalen Hurts pick up some better O linemen and pick up some defensive line or pick up some defensive secondary because that's what kind of hurts you is yes Carson Wentz went hurt he still played Jalen Hurts got some time to show what he can do I would take it. Take Jalen Hurts as your future quarterback. And pick up some O-line. Pick up some assets to that offensive side. But also pick up some defense. It, it's well needed for you guys. Next up, number 13. The Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, uh, I'm just going to say this. You need to pick up O-line like most of the guys in the AFC West need to do. And I'm, that's including the Chiefs. Um, Chargers. You have a great quarterback in Justin Herbert. Don't get me wrong. You need to pick up O-line. You need to pick up secondary. I would take secondary in this first round. And kind of going back. Secondary for the Chargers. Eagles secondary cornerback cornerback for the charge or safety for the Chargers, cornerback for the Eagles. Our offensive lineman for the Giants. Safeties for the Cowboys. Cornerback or no, linebacker most needed for the Broncos. Panthers most need linebackers. Detroit Lions need a line. Dolphins needs safeties. Cincinnati needs safeties. Falcons need bat linebackers. 
49ers just need to become healthy, but they do need some safeties. The Jets want a quarterback, and so do the Jacksonville Jaguars. But getting back onto it, the Los Angeles Chargers, that's really what you need. I said it, is you need some safeties and linebackers to back up what that offense is going to be this year. You do need to pick up some O-linemen in the later rounds, but right now your top spot is safety, and it needs it bad. If you want to not have the Chiefs sick <laughs> Vikings. Yeah. I'd, honestly, I would say pick up a quarterback that can back up who you have now. Sorry, it's going to remind you about that. I think it's just crazy. But. There are so many things that can happen that you don't realize. Uh, Vikings, you do need some backup safety. You need some safety. Kind of going through it. But I think your main source right now is your defense, your linebackers to be rushing some of these quarterbacks. Because the NFC North is a tough division. Your main need is a Linebacker in the first round. You want a quick linebacker. <laughs> what do we say about this team? They haven't won. They have finally been knocked out for the first time since 2008. And the Patriots need another quarterback than Cam Newton. Their main priority, yes. I get quarterback is one of them, but they need linebackers, they need O-line, and quarterback. Those are the three main for me on this game of Patriots. Sorry, seems a little too selfish for my liking, but that's, that's me. Uh, uh, number 16. Like, what is there to say? The Cardinals. For sure. You have bulked up your defense. You still need a little bit more secondary to help out. So you need cornerbacks, safeties. You bulked up on D-line and linebackers. And you need some O-line for the offense. So just please protect Murray. You've gotten... You got the assets around Murray, and it's not helping out if the O line isn't that way. That that is just me. But I think you're gonna go farther than eight and eight this year and make the playoffs. It, but your main goal is safety on the defensive side. The Raiders, the Las Vegas. Raiders, formerly from Oakland, first year in the new stadium, no fans, <laughs> that's rough for that team, um, uh, I guess Dolphins got a second pick, but we'll get to that here in a little bit, um, the Raiders, I don't know, you guys have a solid team all around. Yes, I know it's the black and silver, a rival for the Chiefs, but the Raiders. Honestly, what I really think you guys need to tip the Chiefs off that high horse, <laughs> in my opinion, is a better edge rusher. Then you have it. An edge rusher to match Max Crosby. And then you guys have that pinch on us. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. But we will have to see. Dolphins again, after getting an earlier time, earlier pick in the draft. Miami. This is where you would pick up a cornerback, a safety. Whatever you pick you make in, in that 
sixth slot, make the other one in the second slot. So if you make safety pick in that sixth slot, in this 18th slot, pick a huge, huge selection here in your safety or cornerback spot. Bulk up your defense and be ready to battle because it's going to be coming. Washington football team, you have you, your defense did good throughout the year. They figured out Chase Young. If you can get another edge rusher, either through free agency or through the draft, that's where I'd say you need it most is an edge rusher to push these teams out of the way. That's really what is needed for this thing. It's for the Washington football team to be a great, a better team as first three. O-line, defensive end, or er, edge rushers, and, <sighs> and secondary. Which is going to be tough for it. But that's it. I would pick up a defensive end in this round. <laughs> Chicago Bears. The Bears. Ah. Okay. Don't get me wrong, Bears fan. You need someone to protect Trubisky or whoever you're going to get at quarterback here. Because I don't think Trubisky is the deal in Chicago anymore. He doesn't. He hasn't acted like it at all. But he's done it lately, where all he needs is protection, and he will be fine. Nothing wrong with Trubisky. Yes, he could have been a later round quarterback picked up, but I know you guys wanted him as a backup to Jay Cutler, who you haven't had many good seasons with Jay Cutler. Trubisky kind of been back and forth, but he needs to do his best to change this team. Your main focus is on this secondary, so that means DNs or excuse me, DBs and safeties, defensive backs and safeties, and your linebackers. Court. Strengthen that up. Strengthen your offense, offensive line. And your assets around the Trubisky, you guys should be fine. But your main need, just like the Chiefs, is a lot. That, that's just me. Going to Indianapolis Colts, 11 and 5 from a horrible season before. Um. They picked up some good receivers and stuff in the draft. You don't have T.Y. Or, you do have T.Y. I do remember seeing that in this stuff. But there's so many trades and stuff I can add to this. I'll just make that a separate video. But the Colts, you need defense. You have Tomba, who I hope is still on your team. Yes, I get salary caps kind of in tough. If you keep Tomba, you will win a lot of games. But you need your linebackers, you need your secondary. That includes your linebackers for your defense back. Or your safety. You need to get a rookie safety that is ready to go in and start. Just in my opinion. And we're getting a lot of extra people joining into this round. 22 Tennessee Titans. Um, your offense is good. But your defense is shutting you down. There's teams like the Ravens. Yes, I get all they do is run unless <clears throat> they, they somehow figure out Lamar throwing the ball. But really, I think you need more safety, cornerback style, you need more of that secondary, which is cornerback safeties. That's what you need the most in this. But it's going to be tough for you guys in this draft, 
because there will be a lot of these defensive guys taken off the board early. Getting later into the draft, 23 through 32. <coughs> Jets from the Seattle Seahawks. Yes. The Jets, this is this is another thing. Like I said from Miami. Whatever you pick in that top spot, that second spot, pick your next most important thing in that in that in this twenty-third spot. Yes, you possibly need a quarterback. Who's going to be the future of this Jets team under Robert Sala, a defensive coordinator from the St. Francisco 49 It would you'll have to see how this one goes. But that's going to be a tough one. The Steelers. Um. Sign Juju back. Got Chase Claypool. Like, you have your assets around Ben Roethlisberger. Your line's doing well. I think you might have lost Alejandro, Alejandro Villanueva. That would have been a good person to sign. I'm hoping something breaks in that we can snatch back. For the Chiefs, we need offensive tackles. We signed guards, we've assigned centers. But for you guys, it's defense. You lost Shades year two years ago. Uh, a lot of your defensive guys got injured. TJ Watt needs a, another guy on as an edge rusher. He, this team would be fine. Honestly. Just need an edge rusher. As a main concern of that stuff. On to the next one, Jacksonville from the Rams. Like, what else is there to say about that one? Uh, Jacksonville, you pick up the next best thing off of your main needs list, which is a secondary defensive guy. Cornerback, safety, even nickel quarter linebacker. Like, that whole backside beside your front four. Pick somebody up, like an edge rusher, that is quick and can get off the ball and make a few sacks this year. Get a guy like Chase Young out of the draft. Because Chase Young has helped the Washington football. Try to find a guy that's like him. Doesn't have to be exactly like him. But the speed, the arm attacking, that's what you need the most out of this. And there are changes from what your team has looked like since. Huh. Cleveland Browns. Um. Hmm. This is an odd um, thing. Because... You might, all you need, honestly, is part of your secondary. Quarterback or safety. You got a good offense. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. You scared me while I watched you guys play in the divisional round in Arrowhead. This team has a chance of taking out the Chiefs in a divisional round or a championship round. Yes, I get it. I'm saying a Cleveland Browns team who has a chance of knocking us out is crazy. But if they can tighten up the defense, pick up some new guys that are ready to start, imagine this Cleveland Browns team lethal and able to attack on the AFC North. Because they were able to do it this last year. They had a chance on it last year. I think they have a chance at it this year. They have a chance of finally winning the AFC North for the longest time in a while. Uh, Ravens. Yours most definitely is secondary. So cornerback, 
cornerback and safety, linebacker. I know you've got some of that marked in where it's the heavy set stuff. Uh, offensive line, you might need a little, little tweak to some of those guys. But I think you need defensive more than offensive line. But just going through mock draft stuff, or uh, just predictions of what you guys do. But, uh, I mean, there's a lot of things that can come from this stuff. But Saints, if I had to see Breeze go, honestly, I think he'd pick up a, another quarterback. Because James Winston has not been himself. Has not been the quarterback that he was in college, or how he's been five or six years ago, if I remember right. But James Winston is not the quarterback anymore. Just like Cam Newton is not the quarterback the Patriots want. You have a chance at a quarterback in this round if it slips down to you. This, I would say, trade up and grab a quarterback. Or f find defensive guys ready to go. Because that's really what you want this time. Is you want a defensive guy to kind of lock up your secondary linebacker or even your front, front guys. That can help you win the division and beat the Bucks. Because <laughs> honestly... If it's me, you're going to have a tough time with the butt. With Brady, yes, I get Gronk as that. Um, that, the Buccaneers are going to be a tough team to battle with. And there will be chances that you might have a chance of losing. Just me. But that's it. Going on the uh, quarterback you may need. Just to take out Davis Winston. But that's it, honestly. Green Bay. Defensive secondary, like I said, to most teams. Maybe a check of O line. Yes, he's gonna get Fox Fiari back. That that's gonna be your best thing. You just need a tackle on the other side. Tackle and guard on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Just to protect Rogers, you need offensive line is one of your main needs. And then you've got plays, you need a little bit more hyped up secondary to, to secure some of these games that can come close. And I'm not kidding. Buffalo Bills. Holy cow, you kept it as close as you could. <laughs> some what there are some things defensive wise you can do that will tighten up some of the misplays you make in or the mis breakdown coverages that you make yes I get it chief make breakdown coverages I'm not saying don't be like this you might need to pick up a little more O line, but that's truly what you need. Is your secondary. Quarterback safeties, and your third main one is O line. But that's it. For the Chiefs. Honestly, the main ones coming in soon. We need O line. Specifically, offensive tech. Just to protect Mahomes. Because if you if you watch during the Super Bowl, he was running and throwing sideways for most of the passes. Uh, offensive line is a must have need for us. The Chiefs mostly need offensive line. Specifically offensive tackles. We need cornerbacks. We need safeties. 
and he needs somebody to match up on our edge rusher side. Like, we have a lot of needs for the Chiefs, but we need to lock up. And it's the, the most offensive line, offensive tackle, exactly. And then edge rushers, linebacker core, and bring back to state. Like, our whole defense is very easy. And then, top it all off, round one, and forget. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one.